The weather did not clear up as a blizzard was followed by yet another blizzard. Yes. Alright. Right, let's continue. See what kind of danger we're in now. Fox climb wall. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, fox climb wall. That was Q, and then. There you go. Yes, lower rope. Right. Uh, shift. There we go. Uh, all right. Um. Oh, all right. I've played it in <laughs> in a while, so doesn't look like that for you, maybe, but for me it is. another wind gust but no we didn't have to Ooh, here we go oh oh well we made it Rain and the wind. oh how do you do that oh control <laughs> right Foxy. Fox. Oh, sorry. Uh, fox press while climbing wall to jump from wall. Right. Closer. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. You can do it, Foxy. <laughs> uh, what was it again? Uh, could, can I have that thing back again? Oh, almost. That thing. Can you please come a bit closer? Oh. Oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> almost. Yay, almost. Aw. Ooh, almost. No. That is hard. That is so hard. Yes, we did it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Is there a rope over? Oh, where are you going? Come back. And then you maybe? Yes. Oh. Ooh. And then... Can you please... Oh, almost. That is hard. Why are you not coming closer? That's cool. Almost. Oh, you missed him. Yes. Live a share of the Golo, Terrigan Nerlu, a caillou to be actuk. Shirradeo to me again. Aza can exonite your own near canoe, pissy lang. Well, me neither. I can learn chicken. I Oh. Oh, stuck. Man. That is not funny at all. <laughs> Tough deal. Oh, you gotta crouch. Uh, how are you gonna crouch? Uh, fox? Can you go under there? Yes, you can. Oh. Um, how are we supposed to do that? <laughs> oh. Uh. Again? Ah. 
That's nice. Ooh. What? The trapping trail. We will. at all. Hold on. Oh god. Ah ha ha ha. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to do Oh, it's still here. Oh, she missed. Too high. Yes. Oh, that's good. Caribou skin clothing was the best. Right. Caribou was. It, it provided for us in many ways. Our clothing in those days was made of all caribou skin. I grew up wearing caribou pants, mittens, caribou skin mattress, blankets. Some people had boots that were made with wolf leggings, sealskin sole bottoms. Baleen was shaved to make insoles. They kept us quite dry and warm as well. But the caribou skin clothing was the best. And we would get as many yearlings as we could for our outer clothing. And for a heavy winter, we would get caribou in February or March because the hair was the longest and the skin was the thickest and we would use those for our winter gear. With that stuff on, you could sleep outside in 50 below and it wouldn't bother you a bit. Now the next one. Human as a soul. Celia is the weather. It also means the atmosphere. Here's the Numa, or the land, and it's anything from the land into the moon, the sun, the stars. That's Sila. It's, uh, it's a very spiritual, and we have a relationship with Sila. Uh, Sila has a soul in the same way we do as people, in the same way animals do. I think spirit helpers 
in and of themselves are really about how we're connected with things. And so it may be that there is a spirit helper that shows themselves as a bird to show you the way home. Or it may be a spirit helper that actually decides to show themselves with the face and body of a man instead of their animal form. And so I think one of the things that's hard to understand is that it's not one way of seeing things. It's one way of knowing you're connected to everything. We've always had that spirituality of everything around us. It's the interaction you have with the air you breathe, the, the ocean that you gather resources from, the rivers from which you gather fish, the tundra from which you pick berries, the animals that give themselves. It's, it's all, of, all of that. In the winter, when we were traveling, we didn't build sod houses, we built snow houses. In Canada, they call them igloo, but here in Alaska, we call them apuya. We do a day of travel, and then we'd make an apuya. The next day, my father would set traps, spend the day there, rest the dogs, give them something to eat, and then the following day, we continue to the next place. We'd go to my dad's sister, who had a house at Dubai. They had a small sod house over there. We didn't have to do anything. We just visit with them, and my dad and my sister were glad to see each other, and they'd talk away while kids played outside or go to sleep. By the time we get back to our home, my father would leave us with our aunt or with my grandmother. And then he'd start on his trips and go check his trap line. We were not into eight to five kind of time, you know. We're in a totally different kind. We're in ecological time. 